Those tier 3 traits are a must for endgame builds. They are something you will eventually come to to buff your player to make them as powerful as possible. But firstly, you need to obtain these tier 3 traits. And well today guys, I bring you a simple method in getting what you need in regards to those specific tier 3 traits. So the tier 3 traits for your armor for your gear are the best you can get in this game and while there are quite a few to collect. Now I'm guessing if you're watching this video you're at a stage of being able to upgrade your gear with the enchanted loom within the room of requirement. This requires you to progress the main story until you come to a quest for Professor Weasley called the Room of Requirement. This opens up the Room of Requirement for you. Then you need to progress Deke's quest, the Elf, the Nabsack and the Loom. This quest opens up your Vivarium where it teaches you about catching beasts and using them for those materials. Materials you need to craft traits for your gear. And well from here you're more or less ready to start. Okay so tier 3 traits are tied to a couple of things, either challenges or a lot behind a certain chest, a chest I call a trait or nate chest. Now there's a trick you can use to get any tier 3 trait you want from these chests which we'll come to in a second. But firstly, the challenge tier 3 traits, what about these? So to put it this way, every single enemy in this game has a tier 3 trait tied to them. For instance, head into your combat section of your challenges. You can see here, traits are tied behind you taking out a certain amount of said enemies. And these traits all basically do the same thing. They indeed reduce damage taken from said specific enemies. So if there's a certain type of enemy you want a resistance on your build to, then go out, find and destroy said enemy type. Now for the majority of these enemies, the battle arenas are perfect, but I ain't sure how long this will last due to people abusing them to unlock traits, do challenges and earn their XP. So by the time you watch this video guys, battle arenas may not count for you. But yeah, these tier 3 traits are all tied to you taking down a set amount of that specific enemy. Keep in mind, after every trait here you unlock from tier 1 to 3, the requirement resets. So you start from a zero of said enemies killed going into unlocking that next trait of the list of 3. Now there's another set of traits called the ancient magic traits. This increases their ancient magic damage and they're pretty potent. These are unlocked via you upgrading gear. Now if you want the shortest and cheapest route possible doing this, upgrade different blue gear pieces. Otherwise, it's going to get quite expensive just to unlock said traits. It's going to run down your materials. You obviously upgrade your gear within that enchanted loom. So if you have spare blues, people, upgrade these. They will require a certain material from a certain beast. Catch a few of these critters, bring them back raise them, harvest those materials. Simple. Now more or less every other trait in this game, where traits are tied to spells, these traits come from those ornate chests found around the open world. And to spot them guys, it's real quite simple. On your map, look for these bandit camps. Size of the camps does not matter. Go to these camps and clear out camps of said enemies. You'll then be free to locate that chest and get that trait. Now there's a trick here you can use to get the trait you want. So if there's a specific spell you want to improve via a trait applied to your gear, you can use this to get said trait for your building needs. So before you open that said chest, make a manual save. Then open that chest. If the trait isn't the one you want, simply load that save you just made and open the chest again. Repeat this process guys until you get said trait. Now keep in mind, if you haven't opened many of these chests, then trying to get a specific trait you want may take you a while because there will be more in the loot pool for you to get and don't forget these traits come in at level 1, 2 and 3. Also keep in mind I do believe, I can't confirm this, but I do believe those tier 3 traits have an increased drop chance the higher level you are. Now there are plenty of these bandit camps around the map so do what you have to do in order to get what you want people. Another thing to note, these traits do stack, so using more than one at a time, or the way up to six at a time on your gear, they will stack for you. Exact maths here, I haven't worked out, but from my understanding it seems as though they multiply with one another. But that's another test for another video. But yes guys, if tier 3 traits are what you need, I hope this video helped you out. If you did leave in a like, it really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Hogwarts Legacy, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.